how much fun was it to kick off the show with Prince? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I just got so lucky. Everybody wanted to do Kiss, especially because we chose when there were 14 of us and everybody had Kiss. And I'm so blessed and lucky that I got that song. That's the one song that I love Prince for and that most people recognize him for. So I was blessed to get to do that with the amazing Sheila E. behind me at the beginning of the last episode I ever got to do at the beginning of the ending of a great chapter. So it was a legendary thing for me too. It was awesome. Now your image, style, confidence have all really evolved since you auditioned with Alter Days Rise Up. So walk me through how you've grown and gotten more comfortable with yourself throughout this process. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I came into the competition, I said that I was confident, which is true. I was confident in myself, but it was only until someone made me not confident in myself. So it wasn't really too confident at all. And I feel like throughout the conf I mean, throughout the competition, I got to the point where I'm confident enough to stand in a room and not compare myself to anybody and be able to walk into any room and feel like I should be in that room. So I gained that confidence. And it's obviously a huge part because of all the support that I've gotten from people back home watching, all the contestants, and those famous judges that did not have to be there. So, I mean, it was amazing. And I'm definitely more confident now. I learned a lot. And your take on Back at One didn't get quite as much praise, and Katy Perry was a little critical of the arrangement. Mm -hmm. now, the song obviously has special meaning for you, but what was your process in determining how you were going to approach it? I really just wanted to sing it how I heard it, in a way. I would listen to it over and over, and I grew up singing it a certain way, and I made habits and just fell in love with it in my own way. And I knew that if I wanted to perform it, and knowing that it could be the last performance that I have, because every performance could. I wanted to do it the way I grew up doing it, even if it's not vocally the best for me. It's my parents' wedding song and something I've lived with my whole life, and I wanted to do something that was true to myself. So I'm proud of it, regardless of what anyone said. <laughs> And moving on to Katie, uh, I hate to ask, I'm sure you've been talking about it all morning, but what happened with Manic Monday? A mess. That's what happened. It was just a <laughs> mess. Um, and I fully, I take full responsibility for it being a mess. It's just one of those things where uh, my head and my heart were disconnected and I was living too much in my head rather than in my heart. And while overthinking, it just kind of sabotaged me and sent me home. But that's whatever. I mean, now I'm having a real manic Monday. <laughs> Monday. And I'm doing this. <laughs> and during the results, uh, it was clear you didn't think you deserved to move on. I what was did. going through your mind at that point, and what were you thinking you were going to do if you had gotten the votes? Oh, oh, actually, Journey can say this. I told all the producers mm -hmm. if I made it over Journey, I was giving her my spot. <laughs> It was, I told multiple producers just right before we go on, and they panicked. Cause I, right before I stepped on the stage, I looked back and I said, whatever happens if I go through, Journey's getting my spot. And I just walked back on stage. Because I, I, I don't deserve, as someone who forgot her lyrics, and this is a competition, and I see that, I, I wouldn't feel right taking that spot away from two people who for, like, remembered their words and delivered great performances. One of the biggest things the judges tried to instill in you throughout the season was to believe that you're a star. How do you embrace that moving forward? I think now, looking back at it, I, I, I think I definitely evolved. Do I, do I believe I'm a star yet? No, but it's because I'm only 18. I'm still in high school, and I'm still learning how to be comfortable with myself and my body, and I just had to work on it live on national television. So... Going forward, I, I do believe in myself a little bit more, but I'm just waiting for that one big kicker of a moment where I just wake up and think I'm, I'm a big star. <laughs> and uh, finally, this is for both of you. So Journey, uh, you can go first. What's your biggest takeaway from this experience and what's your next step moving on after it? Probably just the positivity and hard work ethic I gained. I mean, when I was in high school, I barely got through and felt tired after a day of school and wouldn't do anything. And then coming here, we woke up every morning and we're doing like 14-hour days every single day. And I didn't even think I could do that. So definitely I'm keeping work ethic with me. And I'm sure my wife will love that one day when we're both home and I'm actually doing dishes and cleaning and taking care of stuff. But yeah, definitely work ethic, confidence in myself, and just great friendships. I... I think I'm going to take away the fact that I learned that this is what I want to do with my life. It's more than a hobby. 
and I think the only way you'll ever really learn if you want to do this is by experiencing what Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, Luke Bryan go through on a daily basis. Early call times, rehearsal, 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 never really getting to rest your voice because you're always on. But even with all that stress added onto me, I still fell in love, fell in love, fell in love with the career and it just, I'm taking away that, okay, I can do it and this is what I want to do. All right, well, thank you both so much, and best of luck to you both moving thank, forward. Thank you so much. much. Bye. Have a good day. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs>